Tonight what I'm going to talk about is my standard open water beaver snaring setup and that's what we're looking at here. Over time I've developed this system and it just about works in every situation that I encounter and it works well. Keep in mind that I'm in the deep south and most of the time when I'm snaring beavers I'm in a beaver swamp where there's a very soft bottom. I'm not dealing uh, in areas that have a, a rocky bottom or rocky sides or anything like that. The areas that I'm in, uh, you take a step off the beaver dam and you're up to your knees in mud. Uh, so it's pretty soft land. A lot of time the water gets real deep real quick. I'm in areas where you step off the back side of the dam and it's waist deep uh, a foot out. Or there are places where you step off the bank and you know, you're floating your hat real quick. So anyway, um, this, the primary support that I use is a fiberglass electric fence post. You can buy these for about a dollar a piece at Tractor Supply. And that's this component right here. They're four feet long. I drill a hole in the top and put a ring through the top. Uh, that lets me uh, clip a snare off if I want to. It also makes it easy to tie a flag on for visibility. Um, I take a number nine wire and put it through the pole and use that as my support wire and you can see I put a good three feet of support wire on it so I can reach out and get to where I need to get. And we'll take a look at each of these components a little closer in a minute. But that's my primary support. And I have two lengths. I have a four foot length and I have a two foot length. But they're both set up the same way and the only difference is, is the length. And all I do is I take a four foot fence post and cut it in half and get two two footers out of it. So that allows me, when you take the four foot length and put a three foot um, support wire on it, I can get out in water that's six, seven feet deep and, and set a snare, no problem. So the next uh, thing to look at is my actual snare setup itself, which is right here, and I've got it curled up because there's a lot of cable involved here. Now the first thing that we have is the actual snare itself, and I use a 48 inch snare, which is what I like. I like a nice short snare. Uh, this is a 1 by 19 cable, 5 64 inch diameter. I uh, have a plastic tubing whammy on it that uh, fits on the number 9 wire nice. Now at the end of my uh, cable snare, I have basically a 6 foot extension cable. For that 6 foot extension cable, I like to use 3 32nd inch 7x7 uh, seven seven cable. It's a, it's a tough cable. It's cheap. Um, you can reuse it a lot. And my extension cable is, is very simple. It's just a loop a closed loop on each end. There's nothing fancy, um, no adjustable loop ends or anything like that. Then attached to the end of the um, extension cable, I have basically um, an, uh, a Berkshire disposable stake. And we'll take a look at, um, at this setup a little bit closer in a second. But uh, you can see on the end of it here, I, I do two things. I have not only my uh, Berkshire disposable stake, um, stake but I also have a, um, a spring clip. And what this allows me to do is this allows me to tie off in just about any situation. If I'm in an area where I need to uh, stick the end of the extension cable into the mud, then I can simply use the point of my snare support, my fiberglass fence rod. See, it fits in there perfect. And um, so I can just jam that down in the mud but if I'm in an area where there are trees or roots or something where I want to tie off, I can simply use the spring clip and loop it around the tree and tie it off. So by connecting both a, a cable stake and, and a spring clip on the end, um, I can tie off basically anything anywhere. And uh, so that works out real nice. Now, these, these Berkshire stakes are marketed as disposable. And the idea being is if you drive them in the ground and you try and pull them out, they're going to get bent all up and they won't be able to be reused. And for dry ground trapping or areas where you've got tough soil, that's absolutely correct. Um, you pull them out of the ground, they're going to be folded up like a U and they're no good. However, in the areas that I'm trapping, the, the ground is so soft that I can stick these two, three, four feet into the ground. And, <clears throat> and that's another reason why I have such a long extension cable on this is this allows me to stick this deep into the mud and I've never lost a beaver with them having pulled my cable stake out of the mud but 
I've never been able to not retrieve my cable stake. In other words, if I simply walk up to it, stand over it, and pull the cable straight up vertically, I can pull that disposable stake out of the mud, clean the mud out, and reuse it. Um, I use these things over and over and over and over. So they're cheap, uh, they work in, in my area for my purposes. So anyway, uh, let's take a closer look at each individual component. This is one of my uh, fiberglass snare supports. This is a two foot version and basically it's just a four foot rod cut down to two feet. And I've done a couple of things to this. One of the things uh, that I've learned is that when you go to drill these fiberglass rods, you can um, improve your odds of success by wrapping some tape around it. It seems to keep the fiberglass from chipping as, um, as you drill it. The main thing that you want to do though is you've got to have two holes. You need to drill a hole, oh and I guess it's about two inches apart, drill a hole here and here. And basically what I do is I stick about 12 to 18 inches of 9 gauge wire through the hole, bend it down and stick it back through the other hole. And that keeps the wire from twisting around. It keeps it solid, keeps it stable, uh, and provides you with a good stable platform. If you don't have two points of contact, uh, your wire is, uh, is not going to be steady and stable. The other thing I do is I put another hole up at the top and then I just take a small piece of uh, 1 16th inch diameter 1 by 19 cable and put a double ferrule on it and make a loop. And I use this loop for a lot of different things. Sometimes in the right situation I will clip my snare, terminate my snare on it using the spring clip. Sometimes uh, it just makes a good place to hang a piece of flagging tape so you can see it while you're out in the swamp. Um, or if you're carrying these, you can um, clip a carabiner or something like it and carry a whole bunch of them and not lose them, not have them uh, you know, jump out of your bucket or fall out of your boat or what have you. So this is my basic uh, fiberglass snare support. Uh, they work real well. Use one in four foot lengths, some in two foot lengths. They're lightweight, indestructible. The beavers will not chew on them. Uh, since they're not made out of wood and uh, they're a lot easier to deal with than rebar. Now let's take a closer look at um, my snare cable setup. As I mentioned previously I use a 48 inch long uh, snare which is a relatively short snare. Uh, I prefer a 5 64 inch uh, 1 by 19 cable. It gives a nice stiff loop, fires fast. I like a slim lock on my uh, uh, as far as my snare lock goes. And I use a plastic tubing whammy which works really well um, on the um, 9 gauge support wire. Really about the only drawback on the uh, plastic tubing whammy is if you live in an area where it gets really cold and stays cold in very cold conditions that tubing can get stiff and kind of brittle and it's hard to, uh, hard to get a snug fit. But down here where it doesn't get very cold works great for me. Now here, you can see this is the uh, swivel end of the snare, and all I've done is just feed through the end of a uh, 332nd 7x7 extension cable. And this is nothing but a 6 to 8 foot extension cable, nothing, nothing fancy about that at all. And that extension cable gives me the reach that I need to tie off to a tree or a branch or a root, or to uh, get it down deep in the mud with my... Uh, disposable stake. And so you can see at the end of my extension cable right here, I've simply got that threaded through to a, a cable stake. And this is just a cheap Berkshire disposable stake. And the only thing I've done is added a spring clip. And so this right here allows me to either use my fiberglass rod, and that fits, the, the rod has a point on it, fits right in here fits right in the groove perfectly so my snare support is actually my stake driver and I can easily push that down into the mud uh, as far as I need to go and if I'm not tying off uh, or pushing it into the mud I can simply use my spring clip here loop it around a tree or a branch or whatever else and just clip it and tie it off like that so the spring clips are about a dollar a piece but they're easily some of the most useful accessories that you can have in my opinion. So anyway that's my basic open water beaver snare system. You end up with everything all put together and I coil it up in a nice coil 
So I've probably got 10 or 11 feet of cable total. Then I have my fiberglass uh, snare support with a 9 gauge wire on it. And the bottom line is I simply reach in the bucket, grab a coil of wire, pick up my uh, snare support, and I've got everything I need to make the set. I don't need to carry a hammer. I don't need to carry a separate um, stake driver. Um, nothing like that. I don't have to. I don't have to carry one one type of snare for one situation and another type of snare for a different situation. This will pretty much fit any place that I'm going to set a snare under any condition. So it's a one size all solution, at least for me. So it works very well for me. Been very happy with it, and maybe you'll find something of use that uh, will help you out. This is one of my favorite snare sets, especially for open featureless water. What I've done is I've uh, set a snare up right next to a dead tree. I've smeared lure right along the edge of the tree. I've got the snare about three quarters underwater and one quarter out of water. My uh, snare support, I don't know if you can see down through that water, but that's a four foot fiberglass fence post, electric fence post with a number nine wire coming out of it and that's what's supporting my snare and then I've got the snare cabled off to this tree itself. An important thing to uh, remember is that I've got it cabled off down below the water level. Remember beavers chop down trees and if he gets caught on this tree he can chew the tree down and get away. So I've got it cabled very low even if he cables it, uh, chews it off at water level he's not going anywhere. And here's a view from the back side and I'm in about, I don't know, four feet of water here, I guess. So it's pretty deep. Let's see if I can get out here without sinking. But you can see that's, uh, that's the set. The lure is right here. As he swims through it, he'll get caught. I don't, sometimes I put a stick on the other side to sort of fence them in. But uh, sometimes the beaver will shy away from that fencing they've been trapped before so there's not much here for them to shy away from this is a very good set you can make it pretty much anywhere and uh, it's a very reliable producer for me okay I've got the set made and I've smeared my lure up under here and you can see the snare loop is right there I've got the snare cabled off to the root right there so he can't get away and my snare support is a number nine wire using one of my uh, electric fence post snare supports and a piece of vinyl tubing and that's what's supporting the snare and the snare is three quarters underwater one quarter above water and I think you can see there's a little stub sticking out there so this just makes a perfect funnel. If a beaver comes through there, I've got him. <laughs>